very much. New at 11, we are hearing from the Good Samaritan who risked his own safety to help a stranger when a naked man went on the attack in a subway station. Well, tonight, the assailant has been identified as 35-year-old Malik Jackson of Queens. Eyewitnesses say he pushed a man onto the tracks as a train approached. Well, that's when that Good Samaritan stepped in. But as Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal shows us, the harrowing ordeal has left him shaken to his core. We brought this Good Samaritan back right here to the platform where this happened and his emotions are just so strong. And the first thing he said to me was he still wishes he could have done more. They're looking at the spot where the individual was electrocuted. It's still fresh in Tyler Harrell's mind. I feel like God put me at, at that place for that moment. As he stands here at the 110th Street North Central Park platform one day later, thinking about this when what began as an unprovoked attack between a rider and a naked man turned into a fight, sending that rider onto the tracks. He's motionless, and then you hear the train coming. I see a gentleman, he's out unconscious on the track, and there's another gentleman trying to help him, and then this naked guy just jumps down. Larice Flewellen was also there as that train came to a screeching halt, and he watched Tyler in that fight with a belligerent man on the tracks. I think it's the moment you just feel the adrenaline. And it kicked in fast as Tyler shoved the suspect back. He tripped and fell and hit the third rail, and he started getting electrocuted. That man did not make it, and now Tyler also knows how close he came to death. The current coursing through his body, and my hand was in close proximity that I was able to feel it. Tonight, he's playing down what he did to save that stranger. I just saw it as an act of, of kindness. That one act of kindness in this city of millions, showing so much humanity. More needs to be done about mental health because there's a lot of people out here dealing with it. The gentleman Tyler was helping on the tracks is recovering tonight. He's expected to be okay. As far as Tyler, he still has some soreness and some bruising, and he will also be all right.